everybody, I'm Jenna and today I'll be telling you a little bit about the game Hare and Hounds. Hare and Hounds is a two-player combinatorial game in almost every sense of the word. To understand how to play Hare and Hounds, we must first understand how it's set up. In this game, there are three black markers which represent the hounds and one white marker which represents the hare. The left player is the hounds and the right the hare. A typical 5x3 game board will look like this, with the hounds and the hares on opposite sides. But it could also look like this, a 7x3 board, or like this, a 9x3 board. Or you can make it however large that you'd like to challenge. So the goal of the left player or the hounds is to trap the hare or prevent it from making any more moves, which could look like this, or like this. The hare, on the other hand, tries to escape the hounds by moving past them to the left like this, or like this. The legal or allowable moves of the game vary by player. The hounds are able to move horizontally only to the right vertically up and down, and diagonally only to the right. The hare, on the other hand, is able to move horizontally left or right, vertically up or down, and diagonally to the left or right. So basically the hare is able to make any move on the board. However, each player is only able to move one adjacent position per turn. So one detail that does deviate the hare and hounds from a true combinatorial game is that the game doesn't end when a player runs out of moves. The hounds win when the hare is trapped and can no longer move, but the hare can win one of two ways. Either the hare escapes the hounds to the left of the board, or the hounds are found to be stalling, making vertical but not advancing moves 10 turns in a row. So to help better better understand how to play Heron and Hounds, I'm going to play an example round for you at this link. Okay. So, I've yet to actually win this game, which is, I think, a huge reason as to why I wanted to play it. So as you can see, the hare just won because it moved to the left of the hounds and they're not able to trap it. We'll try again. And once again, the hair wins. So um, I'm going to be uh, looking at what is the least number of moves that it takes for the hair to win and the least number of moves that it takes for the hounds to win, if they can win at all. So keep playing the game and let me know what you think. Thanks. 